everyone. St. Luke positions the birth of Christ in the context of Imperial Rome and world events. Caesar Augustus, for instance, orders a census of the whole world to be taken. His birth will have worldwide significance. He will be a light to all the nations. In their search, the wise men were guided by the light of the star. Today's feast represents all those who are guided by the light of faith and reason to seek what is true. Now, truth is not presented to us on a plate. We have to seek and search for it like the wise men did. We know the church teaches the truth about man and his salvation. But we need to make that truth our own if it is to have a bearing on how we live in the here and now. Ultimately, like the wise men, Christ, who is the light of the world, will be the object of our search. The Epiphany also represents those who follow the light of conscience which needs to be illumined by the light of reason and faith. There are many people, some of whom we might know, who appear quite content not to be religious. Some even brag about it. However, we've all got a conscience, whether religious or not. We may ignore it, but it won't ignore us. An ignored conscience has a strange way of resurfacing in our lives in other ways. Now, those who come to Mass each Sunday are given the opportunity to have their consciences more finely tuned, as it were, by gospel truth, certainly more than those who never darken the door of the Church. The danger is that many will form their consciences on public opinion alone and be led astray. St. Augustine says, Wrong is wrong even if everyone is doing it. Right is right even if nobody is doing it. Now this is where Herod enters the scene. Yes, he was interested in the truth about Jesus, but he was in denial about it. The light of the world, even as a baby, was already a threat to him, and he so he sets about extinguishing it. But I would say the ghost of Herod lives on. Is there anyone whom we perceive as a threat to our mistaken notion of liberty and freedom that we'd like to be out of the way? The baby in the womb, God forgive, forbid, might become for some misguided souls an inconvenience hampering their plans. The same misguided reasoning could underpin the euthanasia debate. The right to die for some might be interpreted by others as the duty to die. Yes, the spirit of Herod does live on. The light, which is Jesus, had come into the world, but men had shown they had preferred the darkness. Even though we have the light of faith and reason and conscience to guide our way in this world, there's no guarantee whatsoever we'll act in accordance with any of them. At the end of the Gospel today, it says, the Magi, or the wise men, open their treasures. Perhaps our treasure to Jesus for 2020 will be to open the eyes of our minds more widely to the light of his truth, and in this way we share in his epiphany, and we are a light to the world in which we live. Now, thank you all very much for listening, and God bless you all. Oh